What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know I've been gone for a little bit, life, it happens, but today we installed the sick DIY 3D printed brake cooling ducts on our Mark 7 GTI and it makes a world of a difference when you're on the track and I highly recommend this upgrade. So if you guys have a buddy that has a 3D printer or you have a 3D printer, you can go ahead and download this link down below that is linked in the description and you can make 3D printed custom brake ducts for your Mark 7 GTI. Now this kit actually cools your car's brakes by 30 degrees. Now this is claimed by the guy who developed these and that is super cool. And that's something that we personally need as a track enthusiast and an autocross enthusiast. We need brakes that aren't gonna get hot and overheat and not work. That's the scariest thing is when you got a lot of horsepower and no brakes, you don't want that. So this free upgrade was awesome and I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so when you guys get these printed out, they're gonna be in multiple pieces and we're gonna have to assemble them. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble them right now and get all this worked out and then we're gonna go ahead glue these together with some JB Weld throw them on the car and see how they look okay so we're gonna start off with these two big pieces right here um, and the second biggest piece right here so these will actually fit together like this just like a Lego they have little indents and clip points right here and they'll basically snap together like that to create the super cool functioning duct. The air actually gets grabbed on this side and it pushes through, through this opening onto your caliper. For this, we're gonna be using some JB Weld plastic bond. Now this is gonna take a while to cure, but it's gonna be such a strong bond when it comes to trying to glue plastic things together. A little cardboard box and we'll go ahead and mix these. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on both sides of this flat piece right here. Right on here. And then on the flat side on that piece too, and then glue them together. These are stuck together, but there's a lot of goop right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off and clean it off that piece right here so we can put our bracket on properly. This one in the vise. And I'm just gonna let it cure for a little bit. I'm actually gonna put some on this outside piece in that crack so it does not wanna break. Okay, it is day two, and we got these all glued up. They're all hardened, all good to go. Our brackets are up. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's gonna be functional, and that is the main purpose of this. Went ahead and drilled out these little um, spacers to the proper size bolt that we found. We got a bolt kit at AutoZone, just a standard bolt kit. And this is the largest screw it has, so we're gonna go ahead and use that along with the nuts and washers that it provides and throw this on the car. So those spacers fit nice and perfect in there. Nice snug fit. And this one goes right there. So now our duct will fit snug right over those. Okay, there's it on the car. Got it all bolted down up top, just like so. It's gonna get air directly from the front of the car through here and scoop it up and shoot it right on the rotor. We had to actually drill this out a little bigger because the way I glued it, it's kind of warped a little bit so the bolts didn't go exactly through where we needed it to 
So opening this up allowed us to get the bolts in where we needed them. The other side installed. This side went in perfectly, didn't have a fight with it at all. I think drilling out that bigger spacer is the key to lining everything up. Other than that, we look pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and set the car down and see if it rubs anywhere and see how it looks. You can barely see them, but they're good, they're not rubbing. They look super sleek, you can't tell when you're just looking at the car. So this should add a lot more function to our braking system now. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. Uh, if you wanna see more DIYs like this, comment down below. Uh, it'll be greatly appreciated and go ahead and hit that subscribe button like I said it'll help me out and it'll give me the confidence to keep on making cool stuff and cool videos for you guys so see you in the next video